Roadmap diagrams help you to map existing elements against a timeline. This is useful for visualising how a system changes over time, planning a migration of responsibility between two teams, and making long-term strategic decisions. The example on screen documents the planned life cycle of a number of products in the form of a roadmap. Once again, we've used a diagram legend to help make it easier to read and interpret the data. For example, the red sections indicate that they are beyond end of life. Using this roadmap, you can easily identify when support for a given product is reduced or no longer available. This can help you to plan the transition from one product to another and identify any strategic gaps or opportunities. The timeline is always displayed on screen in any saved image and when printed to ensure that everybody is on the same page. In order to create a roadmap diagram, we first need to begin with a number of class elements. Use the diagram toolbox to place a number of class elements on screen and label them appropriately. Right click the blank diagram and select roadmap options. The roadmap options dialog is where you configure the look and feel of your roadmap diagram. Select the enabled checkbox and provide a suitable title for your roadmap. In this case, we've used the title Product Lifecycle. You can also set the units to quarterly, yearly, months, or any number of different options, but for our example, we'll choose quarterly. There are a number of different options to modify the tick spacing. To find the spacing of your scale, you can also identify when the timeline starts and ends, where the roadmap scale will be shown, what fonts and colors you'll use, the height of the roadmap, as well as options to use diagram legends for phase colours. Now we can add a diagram legend to colour the phases. We can configure the diagram legends by double clicking and opening the properties dialog. We can add new phases and enter those values and give them a relevant colour. When we're ready, simply apply the auto color by enabling the checkbox and click OK to observe the result. We can now move our elements into place. We can alter phase times by simply clicking and dragging the color borders to a suitable location. This example illustrates how roadmaps can be used for strategic planning and can document the life cycle of a product by quarter for an entire year. For more information about Enterprise Architect 12.1, please visit www.sparksystems.com.